Chapter 5 Season 4 has finally released, guys, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the 40 sweatiest combos in Fortnite. These are going to be some of the best combos that you can use this season, and some of the newest combos as well. So make sure you guys watch this entire video, and make sure to go down and hit the like button and the subscribe button if you are new, because we're going to be giving away a bunch of free battle passes in the comments down below. Let's get started off with a brand new combo, guys, and this is Peel Varine, and we're pairing this with the Nanomantium Claws. Now, even though this isn't going to be a sweaty combo this season. This is going to be one of the biggest meme combos we have ever seen, so we just had to include it in this video. Obviously, Peely has been in the game for a while. Fortnite have remade this a bunch of times, but I really like Pilverine. I feel like it is one of the best remakes of Peely we are ever going to see, and usually whenever Fortnite and Marvel team up, they make some amazing items. The Nanomantium Claws as well just makes sense for this skin. Usually, I don't want to pair skins and big axes that were designed together in the same combo but for this one, we just had to do it. Let's move on, the guys, to the number 39 position, and we have the Cozy Chomps, and we are pairing this with Elizabeth's Favor. Yes, guys, the Cozy Chomps is one of the more casual skins that we have in Fortnite. I feel like it is perfect for all of the players that don't really take the game too seriously, but instead maybe want to use one of the better designed skins that we have in the game. This is definitely one of them. I really like the way this looks. I feel like this is such an underrated skin, and this pickaxe really fits in with it perfectly. It's going to match it with the colors of both edit styles, of this skin, not just the default style, which honestly just makes it even better. Another combo that can be used for casual players, though, has to be Aura, and we are pairing this with the Assault Tron Blade. Aura has been one of my favorite skins in Fortnite. It is quite old, though, because it was first added back during Chapter 1, Season 8, so definitely not as new as some of the other skins we're going to be talking about in this video. We do seem to be getting updated styles of this skin all the time, though. I feel like that is definitely what the best part about this is, is that Fortnite know how good this skin actually is, so they are always going to be adding brand new styles or different variants of this skin. The Assault Tron Blade was part of the Battle Pass during Chapter 5 Season 3, so I feel like because it was part of that, a lot of you guys watching this video right now probably own it, and that is just going to make this even better. If you guys really do want to use a combo that is known as tryhard in the Fortnite community, though, then I feel like Hannah and the Vault Guardian is going to be the best way to go. This has definitely been one of the most tryhard combos we've seen in a really long time, and definitely one of the more underrated ones as well. Hannah is just one of those skins that not too many casual players are going to end up using. This is really only for the most tryhard of tryhard players, and that is because of how this skin is designed. There is a lot of different customizations you get with this. You can change around the colors to about eight different colors, and you can also make it reactive and take the glowing effect on or off, and also take the helmet on or off as well. I feel like this is definitely one of the most slept on combos that we have seen over the last few seasons. So if you guys are looking for a brand new combo that is very tryhard and also not really used by too many people, then this might be the best one for you. We have seen pros like Mr. Savage actually using this in the past as well, but let's move on to our next combo, guys, and this is Lana Lane, and we're pairing this with the Bold Bar. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite combos we've seen for a really long time. This is actually part of the Fortnite crew bundle that we got back in February, so it probably won't ever return to the game. But if you guys do buy the Fortnite crew bundles every single month, then you will know how good this actually is. You pay around $10, you get a skin for free, a thousand V-Bucks, a pickaxe, and the battle pass completely for free as well, which is really, really sick. And we are now getting skins that have six edit styles after they have first been added. So every month after you are subscribed, you get an additional style. I feel like Lana Lane has been one of the best ones to benefit from this update. And as long as pros like Clicks keep using this, I feel like it is only going to stay popular in Fortnite. The bold bar might not be the best pickaxe for this skin, especially if you are changing around these styles a lot. But I just feel like it is really underrated today that we had to include it in this video. That takes us forward, guys, to the number 35 position, and we have Valeria, and we are pairing this with the Studded Axe. Obviously, since we are in a brand new season of Fortnite, I feel like sometimes some of these older Battle Pass skins also start to become popular again, and Valeria has been one of the best ones. This is also added in Chapter 5, so it isn't necessarily as old as some of the other Battle Pass skins, which hopefully means a lot of you guys watching this video right now are actually going to own it. Similar to Lana Lane, though, Valeria just has so many different edit styles, it can be really hard to find a pickaxe it is going to fit in with this well. I mean, all of the edit styles don't really look too similar either. All of the color styles are really unique and bright, so I feel like it is really hard to find the ideal pickaxe for this, but the Studded Axe does a pretty good job. It is simplistic enough where it is going to match it with every single style and really try hard as well. But this combo definitely isn't as try hard as our next one, which is the Surf Witch, and we are pairing this with the Cold Snap. This has to be one of the most try 
hard pickaxes we have ever seen in Fortnite and one of the best combos we have ever seen as well. I mean, this pickaxe was part of Clix's locker bundle and obviously whatever pickaxe Clix added to his own locker bundle was immediately going to become really popular and try hard. I feel like the cold snap has definitely dropped off a little bit in popularity though, just because there are some other pickaxes that people prefer to use for the surf, which is one of the best skins we've seen in a really long time. You can pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks. Currently, it does only have two different styles, but I feel like we will see even more styles for this being added in the future, just because it has been one of Fortnite's best ever skins. Let's move on, guys, to a much newer skin, and this is Moff Gideon, and we're pairing this with the Vibro Axe. This is one of the newest Star Wars combos that we have in Fortnite, and was added right at the end of Chapter 5 Season 3. I mean, literally three days before we had this brand new season, they added Moff Gideon and IG-11 to the game. I really like Moff Gideon. I think the mask on edit style is incredible. It is a little bit weird that you cannot take the cape off, but I still feel like this skin looks really clean on its own. And especially when you pair it with the Vibrax, it does make it even better. We don't know how try hard this is going to be in the future, but it has been really popular at the moment. One male combo that might just be a little bit more try hard this season is Mysterio, and we're pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. I really do like Mysterio. I feel like it is going to be one of the underrated skins that we do have from this season's Battle Pass. I mean, usually not too many male skins end up becoming tryhard in Fortnite, but Mysterio is one of the highest rated skins from this season's Battle Pass, and as more and more people do unlock it over the next few weeks, this is only going to get more and more popular. I do really like this. We probably will see some pros and streamers using it in the competitive game modes as well. The hard thing with Mysterio, though, is because this skin is so detailed with such a unique design, it is really hard to find a pickaxe that is going to fit in with this, so that is why I feel like the Leviathan Axe is sort of a good choice. It fits in with this as well, and it's just another really rare item, which just adds to how tryhard this is going to be. If you guys do prefer to buy the bundles that we get in Fortnite though, then you might actually prefer the Agency Renegades bundle, and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Now, this does include Spycatcher Siren and Shady Zadie. We did also get a remake of Cobalt in this bundle, but I don't think anyone has ever really used that skin. So for that reason, we are just talking about Spycatcher Siren and Shady Zadie. Firstly, the Zadie edit style is so sick. They almost could have added these as edit styles for the original skins, but obviously they wanted to make some money out of it. So a bundle does make sense. I really like this. Not too many people really buy bundles in Fortnite just because you have to buy them with real money instead of V-Bucks. But if you were going to buy a bundle, this is probably the best one. Obviously, because there are so many different edit styles for all of these skins as well. You want to use a pickaxe that is quite simplistic, and that is where the Vault Guardian is the best choice. Let's move on though to one of the more underrated combos in the game, guys, and this is Kami, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. We have definitely already talked about some collab combos in the game, but Kami might be one of the more underrated collab skins we've ever seen. It was added back during Chapter 2 Season 5 with a Street Fighter collab. I feel like we just had so many collabs during that season that no one really expected Kami to be added to the game, but now that it is here, it is really, really sick. We do have two different edit styles for this, but I feel like the Kami edit style with the army pants is going to be the best one, and the one that I've seen most people using. The Harley hitter just seems like it fits in with this skin as well, so that is what I love about it, and you can use this with both edit styles. If you guys do just want to use a regular Fortnite design combo though, then the focus skin and the style wand is the best choice. Well, maybe not the best, but definitely one of the best. This has been in the game since chapter one, it was originally known as a controller tryhard skin as well, which in my opinion just makes this even more interesting. I mean, we don't really see too many skins being known as controller only or keyboard and mouse only skins in Fortnite, so that is where focus is really unique. I feel like that has changed over the last few years. We do see a wide range of people now using this in Fortnite, from pros to casuals, controller players, and keyboard and mouse players as well. And the style one is going to fit in with every single style. Personally, I feel like the newest edit style is the best one, but you can always use the original style if you do like that a little bit better. Another skin that was added to the game around the same time has to be Minus, and we are pairing this with the Gold Crow. Now, this is definitely one of the more interesting combos. I feel like people do use this skin from time to time, but definitely not as much as they used to. I mean, this used to be one of the best skins we had ever seen in Fortnite. People were using this every single day in tournaments, cash cups, FNCS tournaments, basically every game of Fortnite. 
why we always saw a bunch of people using the Midas skin, but I feel like now people predominantly use the female skins in the game, and this has dropped off a lot. I do really love the way this skin looks though. I feel like it is one of the cleanest skins we have ever seen, and hopefully more people do start using it again. The Gold Crow is going to fit in with every single style of this, but I feel like it does perfectly suit the fully golden edit style. Obviously, this is never going to return to the game though, because it was part of a battle pass. So if you do want an item shop skin, then I feel like Champion Spark Plug and the Determination Daggers might be the way to go. This was the FNCS skin introduced during Chapter 5 Season 3, and these used to be season exclusive skins as well, but it does seem like they do return to the store all the time. The Determination Daggers were added in Chapter 5 Season 2 with the Champion Siren skin, so I feel like Fortnite have done a really good job adding some of the best FNCS skins over the last few seasons. They look like they are starting to remake some of the most tryhard skins we have ever seen, which is a really cool touch apart from just designing skins that no one has ever really used before. We have seen a bunch of pros like Clix and Mongrel actually using this. It is definitely one of the best FNCS skins we've seen for a while, and that is why I had to include it in this video. We need to move on though guys, and next up we have the Paw Patroller, and we are pairing this with the Driver Pickaxe. Now the Paw Patroller is one of the best Fortnite skins they have ever introduced, and I feel like this is really one of those skins that is only known in the tryhard community. We don't really see too many casual players using this. A lot of tryhard players use this almost every single day in tournaments and cash cups, but I feel like if you do play public matches, you probably won't see too many people using it. We had to pair this with the driver as well. I mean, it is a golf themed skin, so it made sense to include this with a golf pickaxe as well. Let's move on the guys, and next up we have Medley, and we are pairing this with the Icebreaker. This is definitely one of the most underrated combos in the game that I feel like deserves to be a lot more tryhard. We don't really see too many people using it today. It is one of the best summer themed skins Fortnite has ever introduced though. I just feel like the color variants for this are so sick and the fact that you get four different edit styles for only 1,200 V-Bucks is kind of insane. It can be really hard to find a big axe that is going to match in with this though just because there are so many different styles but that is why the Icebreaker might be one of the best pickaxes ever introduced to Fortnite. It probably won't return to the store too often though because it is a summer skin but another skin that is never going to be added back is Reverie and we are pairing this with the Bold Bar. Reverie was the starter pack skin during Chapter 5 Season 1 so you could actually pick this up for only $5. You also got some free V-Bucks with this that you could have ended up using to buy the Bold Bar so I feel like this bundle is definitely worth buying in Fortnite. Unfortunately though the starter pack bundles never really returned to the store once that season has ended so unfortunately if you didn't buy Reverie back when it was first introduced you'll probably never be able to buy it again. The only downside for this skin though is that there is only one edit style. Well I take it back there are two but you can just take the hat on or off. I feel like this would have benefited a lot more if we did get some color variants for this but that could always be something that Fortnite does add in the future. One combo that is in the game right now though has to be Gwenpool and we are pairing this with the Determination Daggers. This has easily been the most tryhard skin from the season's battle pass so far. It is the tier one skin so it was always going to be the most popular one. Almost every single person that I've seen playing this season has been using Gwenpool and they all are using it in different ways as well. You can actually change around how this skin looks, not just with the colors, but also in the gradient shading as well, which just makes this even better. I feel like the determination daggers are going to fit in with every single style of this, which just makes this combo even more tryhard. That takes us forward, guys, to the number 22 position, and we have Cyclops, and we are pairing this with the Hot Dogger. This is actually one of the newest combos that we have in the game at the moment. Again, Cyclops was added right at the end of Chapter 5 Season 3, so even though it is one of the newest skins in the game, I feel like this has been a little bit overlooked just because we have started a brand new season. I really love this skin though. I think it is really, really cool. All of the X-Men skins are quite underrated in Fortnite. We also had Weapon X added during season three, which I think was really clean, but no one really ended up using it. Cyclops though has been quite popular so far. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this does also gain some popularity in the more competitive game modes. I just feel like the Hot Dogger fits in with this skin as well. It definitely suits in with the laser edit style or the laser eyes that Cyclops has. They do try hard for too long though. So let's move on to a really unique skin guys and this is Astra and we're pairing this with the giant nutcracker. Astra is one of the most unique skins ever introduced to Fortnite. We do also have another skin that is very similar to this which is Star Flare but I feel like the original Astra skin has just been a little bit better. We have actually started to see some pros and streamers like Mr. Savage and Mongrel using it. I feel like Vino and Clix have been using it as well and that is the only reason I'm including it in this video. I feel like whatever skins those guys end up using usually become pretty tryhard 
hard, so we just had to include Astra. This is really detailed, though. A lot of tryhard skins in Fortnite are usually some of the more simplistic ones in the game, so I'm excited to see if this does stay popular and tryhard throughout Season 4. One skin that definitely will, though, has to be Jules, and we're pairing this with the Sockum Socket. Jules is part of an older Fortnite Battle Pass in Chapter 2, Season 3. Since we are in a brand new season of Fortnite, if you guys don't really buy the Battle Passes, then chances are you might end up using some of the old Battle Pass skins that we have seen in the game, and Jules is definitely one of them. This has been so well done, I feel like a lot of people stopped using Midas in Chapter 2, Season 3, and started using Jules because of how well this was designed. Unfortunately, we never really got too many super styles for this skin during that season. They really only had them for the Tier 100 skin, which was the Eternal Knight, but it would have been so much better if this was actually added with some super styles. I feel like a lot of people would still be using this today. The Sockham Socket fits in with the wrench theme of this skin as well, which is really cool. But that takes us forward though to our next combo, and we have the Inferno Skeleton Bolvin, and we are pairing this with the Hot Dogger. Even though Jules is really cool, it is about time we mention a male skin. These aren't really too popular in Fortnite, but I feel like Inferno Skeleton Bolvin definitely has. We have also seen a few pros and streamers starting to use this again in Chapter 5. Clicks is definitely one of them, and as I've already mentioned, whenever he starts using skins, they usually gain a little bit of popularity and do become quite tryhard as well. The only downside to this skin is that it is so bright and colorful, so you guys are going to stand out so much, but chances are if you are using this skin, then that is exactly what you want to achieve. The Hot Dogger is an amazing pickaxe for this as well. It fits in with the flame theme of this combo, but one combo that I prefer a little bit more has to be Chani, and we are pairing this with the trusty number two. This combo is definitely a little bit more low key, a little bit more underrated as well, and that is my favorite part about it. I really thought Fortnite would collaborate again with Dune 2. I mean, we had a collaboration when the first Dune movie came out, and no one had really heard of Dune before, but then we ended up getting a second Dune movie. It was one of the biggest movies in the world when it came out, and Fortnite didn't even really acknowledge this. They didn't add these items back to the item shop, and they didn't collaborate with them to introduce more items to the game. I really did think that was going to happen. It would have been such a cool collab, but unfortunately it just looks like Chani and Paul Atreides are going to be the only items from the Dune franchise featuring in Fortnite. I love this skin though, a lot of pros and streamers have been using it, and I feel like that is because it has such a simplistic design, and is going to be so tryhard for a really long time. That takes us forward though to the number 17 position, and we have Jennifer Walters, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. I mean, Jennifer Walters is one of the best Marvel skins we have in Fortnite. It is so underrated as well, because it died down so quickly in Fortnite, but if you guys remember back during Chapter 2 Season 4, this was the go-to skin. I mean, every single person was using this. The designs for it were so incredible, but it did die down pretty quickly to the point where no one has been using this. I feel like over the last few weeks, though, especially now that we are in a Marvel season, a lot of people have been using this. It is so well designed. It is one of my favorite skins of all time, and if you guys do have the fully holographic variant of this introduced, then you definitely need to be using it. The Harley Hitter is an incredible pickaxe for this, and he's definitely going to fit in with every single style as well. Another Marvel combo that we just have to include, though, is War Machine, and we're pairing this with Wix Katana. Yes, guys, War Machine has finally been added to Fortnite, and if you guys remember back during Chapter 2 Season 4, Iron Man or Tony Stark was so popular and tryhard, so I feel like it only makes sense that War Machine also gains some popularity and maybe some tryhard status as well. I don't feel like as many people are going to be using this in the competitive game modes as something like Tony Stark, but it is still worth mentioning in this video. Wix Katana fits in with this really well. You could always use the handheld missile that this was designed with, but in my opinion, I feel like Wix Katana fits in with this, and of course the Iron Patriot edit style as well. Let's move on the guys, and next up we have Kaper, and we are pairing this with the Assaultron Blade. Kaper has been one of the more interesting skins we have seen being added to Fortnite. There are so many different edit styles that you can make with this, so I feel like in one hand, it is one of the coolest skins Fortnite has ever added but sometimes too many choices are also holding this skin back. A lot of people love these when they first got added to the game, but they have died down a lot now to the point where we don't really see that many people using them. The Assaultron Blade is just a pickaxe that we had to pair with them as well, because it is so simplistic and will work in with every single style of these skins. Let's move on the guys to the number 14 position. We have Jack Sparrow, and we are pairing this with Jack's Cutlass and Bane. This again was also added to Fortnite during Chapter 5 Season 3. I feel like we are including a lot of skins that were added last season, but this has definitely been one of the best. I don't really know if this is as tryhard as some of the other skins and combos that we are talking about in this video.
video, but I just feel like it has been really clean. It was so hyped as well and was part of the minute battle pass that we had last season, so we just had to include it in this video. Obviously, Jax, Cutlass, and Bane was added to the game at the same time, so this combo just makes sense. A popular for too long, so I feel like Siren and the Harley Hitter might be a much better combo. So many people love this. It has been one of the most tried skins in Fortnite that we have ever seen, and that probably won't be changing anytime soon. It was starting to drop off towards the end of Chapter 4, but they actually introduced some brand new edit styles for this in Chapter 5, right at the beginning, which really helped this stay popular, and I feel like really brought a lot of popularity back to this skin, especially in the tournaments and more competitive game modes. A lot of people do end up pairing this with something like the Leviathan Axe or the Star Wand, but in my opinion, I just feel like the Harley Hitter is a lot better of a pickaxe. It is a pickaxe that a lot more people are going to buy, and I feel like it is just a lot more common because it features in the item shop so often, so it is definitely something you guys need to own if you don't already have it. That takes us forward, though, to the number 12 position, and we have Padme, and we are pairing this with the Butterfly Knives. Padme is one of the best Star Wars skins we have ever seen. There aren't really too many other Star Wars skins that have stayed popular or try hard for that long, so Padme has done an amazing job. This has also stayed popular in the more competitive game modes, not just in the casual game modes of Fortnite, and even though these Star Wars items don't really feature in the store that often, it still seems like a bunch of people are using this. I would have loved to see some more edit styles for this skin. They pretty much only added in two styles and the skins look almost identical. So hopefully that does come with the next Star Wars update. The butterfly knives sort of fit in with the theme of Padme. And I just don't feel like there were too many other Star Wars pickaxes in Fortnite that would have fitted in with this a little bit better. If you guys do want a full collab combo though, then you need to try out Catwoman and we're pairing this with Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Now for this, we are specifically talking about the comic book Catwoman skin. I mean, this has been the best one. We have had Catwoman Zero in the game as well, but nothing has ever come close to the popularity of the comic book Catwoman skin. This hasn't really featured in the store that often, so it does definitely make it a lot more rare, but I feel like a lot of people have started to use this again in Chapter 5 to the point now where this is one the best skins in the game. I really do hope it does return to the store in the future because I really want to buy it. I just feel like it looks so, so clean and obviously pairing it with Catwoman's Grappling Claw just makes so much sense. If you didn't want to pair it with this though, a lot of people have been using it with the Star Wand or even the Vision, which also does look really good. Let's move forward though to the top 10 guys and starting us off is the Polo Prodigy and we are pairing this with the Ice Breaker. We have had so many amazing collab skins in Fortnite, but this one is a little bit more unique because it isn't necessarily a collab skin with a big franchise, but instead a clothing brand, and that was Ralph Lauren. We haven't really seen anything like this before. I feel like they did a really good job with this because it is a remake of the Renegade Raider. That is just the best part about it. I feel like that is why this has been so popular in Fortnite and a little bit similar to Catwoman. It was been in the game for a while. It dropped off so, so quickly and sort of took a few seasons for people to start using this skin again to the point now where it is one of the best ones we have in the game. I do love this a lot. It just doesn't feature in the item shop that often. And with two different variants that do look quite different, I feel like the Icebreaker is the best pickaxe for this. Let's move on though, guys, to the number nine position. And we have Lara Croft, and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Whenever a brand new season of Fortnite starts, it feels like some of these older Battle Pass skins start to become popular again. But Lara Croft has pretty much been popular since it was first introduced. This is all the way back during chapter two, season six. I feel like it was sort of unexpected how popular this skin actually became and how tryhard as well, but it is one of my favorite skins in the game right now. A lot of people do end up using the default style, but with the Leviathan Axe, you can use pretty much any style of this skin that you want, and it is still going to look good. I mean, we have the default style, we have the green PlayStation edit styles, and then of course the fully golden edit style as well, which I feel like has started to gain a little bit of popularity. One combo that is definitely a lot more popular and tryhard at the moment has to be Shuri, and we are pairing this with the Force Lance. Now, this is one of the more interesting combos in this video. Shuri is the tier 100 skin during Chapter 5 Season 4. It is one of the most hyped Marvel skins we've seen in a really long time. The original Black Panther skin never really became that popular at all, and I feel like that was because this was never included in the Battle Pass. But now that Shuri is the tier 100 skin, we're going to be seeing so many people using this. I love it a lot. The Force Lance also fits in with the design of this a lot. The purple color styles match in with the reactivity 
of Shuri perfectly. So I feel like this is a combo we are going to see a lot more people using throughout the season. Let's move on the guys to the number seven position and we have the Mogul Masters. We're pairing this with the Studded Axe. There are just way too many Mogul Masters to name every single one of them. We do have eight different styles of these skins with each of them costing 1,500 V-Bucks. So they are really expensive if you are going to be buying every single one. So I feel like it is better off just to pick the one that you love the most and buy that variant. A lot of people have ended up using the Great Britain Mogul Master, but one of the most underrated ones has to be the German Mogul Master, and that is going to fit in perfectly with the studded axe. Let's move on the guys, and next up we have the Bright Raider, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Even though this was part of last season's Battle Pass, I just feel like this was so well designed and one of the most popular Battle Pass skins that we have ever seen that we just had to include this. I mean, the design of this is a mashup of two of Fortnite's most iconic skins, which was the Bright Bomber, and of course the Renegade Raider. Whenever you mix two skins like that together, it was always going to be really popular and try hard, and they did an amazing job with this. Even though that season has now ended, I still feel like this could be similar to Lara Croft, where it does stay really popular and try hard, and especially with the Star Wand, it will definitely do that. But only time will tell to see if this does stay popular or drop off a lot. We then move forward, the guys, to the number five position, and we have the Psycho Bandit, and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. The Psycho Bandit is one of the most expensive skins in this video, coming in at around $40. This is also part of the Borderlands collab back during chapter one. It was one of the coolest collabs that we had seen in a really long time, and I feel like they really need to add this back, especially with a Borderlands movie coming out any single day. I feel like the Psycho Bandit has been one of the best male skins we have ever seen. It would be so much better and a lot more tryhard as well if everyone had the opportunity to buy it, especially when you think about pairing it with something like the Leviathan Axe. So hopefully that is something that does happen soon, but honestly, it is just going to take a little bit of time before Fortnite even think about adding this back to the store. I guess the Leviathan Axe is in the same boat because we haven't seen this returning in such a long time, and it is one of the best pickaxes, even though it is quite expensive, coming in at a thousand V bucks. If you do want to use one of the newer skins in the game though, then you need to try out the Adidas skins, and we are pairing this with the Driver Pickaxe. These are part of the newest highly customizable skins that we have seen in Fortnite. You can change these around in so many different ways. There are a bunch of different colors for the outfits, and of course, different masks that you can use as well. This is a really cool design. We haven't really seen too many skins like this before, but my only concern is that they have been in the game now for a few weeks, and with a brand new battle pass, these could drop off a lot because there are so much customization that you can do with these skins as well. The driver is just the perfect pickaxe for this. That takes us forward, the guys, to the number three position, and we have IG-11, and we're pairing this with the Force Lance. We probably don't really have too many other people using combos like this in the more competitive game modes, but I have actually seen a lot of tryhard players using this. It is a really unique skin. I mean, this has to be the skinniest and slimmest skin we are ever going to see in Fortnite. It is an IG-11 droid from the Star Wars universe. I never thought we would see this being added to Fortnite, but now that it is here, it is so sick. The Force Lance is also the coolest Star Wars pickaxe we have in the game, so these items work so well together. That takes us for the guys to the number two position, and we have the superior skins, and we are pairing this with the Love Lawn Pickaxe. Yes, guys, this is one of the best items we have ever seen. Not only are these superior skins some of the most expensive, but highly customizable skins ever added to Fortnite, they continually stay extremely popular and try hard as well. These are also added during the last Marvel season that we had in Fortnite, so it has sort of come full circle, which is really exciting to see. Because there are so many different ways you can customize these skins, you want to use a really simplistic pickaxe that is going to work in with every single one, and that is what I think the Lovelorn does really well. These are going to feature in the store a lot, but you can always swap out this pickaxe for any other pickaxe in your locker because the superhero skins pretty much work in with every single pickaxe. They are definitely some of the best skins and items that you can buy today, but we need to move on guys to the number one position and we have Emma Frost and we're pairing this with the studded axe. For this, you can use any edit style that you want of Emma Frost, but I feel like the diamond edit style is by far the coolest. I mean, this is just a flex. It looks so unique, so different to every other skin we have ever seen before as well, especially from the Marvel collabs, but I love this a lot. It has already been the most tried skin from this season's battle pass. This could always change throughout the season though. We could see people ending up using Shuri or even Gwen 
Gwenpool in the more competitive game modes. But when I'm recording this, Emma Frost is by far the best skin this season. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. I feel like the studded axe is going to fit in with the diamond edit soul so, so perfectly as well. But there you guys go. That is my video talking about the 40 sweatiest combos in Fortnite right now. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what combo is your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time.